Yeah, I put my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more it's times. Five blokes outside my front door. Can you come and help One me? hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned. This is Kuhn Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's Cass, I fight week. It's fight week. <laughs> I love fight week. My favourite time. It's not a fight week unless you're present somewhere doing something. Yeah, I have to be there. I have to be there always. Right, before we talk about this week, what we're talking about off camera, I just wanted you to touch on that video that absolutely blew the internet. Oh, yeah. Uh, your trip over to America. Um, yeah, I mean, it's mad to think that, first of all, you thought the idea to do that. Second of all, you kind of got away with it as well, yeah, doing yeah, it yeah. like in, in health, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, touch wood. Ho hopefully they don't actually end up tracking me down. Obviously, the KKK are a very serious bunch. But no, honestly, I, I can't believe that whole situation happened. Like, uh, when, I, when I went out there, I went to investigate the town, and then I ended up interviewing the leader of the KKK, trolling him and everything, so can't believe it. So when you were actually doing it, you, yeah. you speak to him, and I know you were kind of putting in your own little innuendos, which wasn't got at the time, but... Yeah, I mean, you saw yeah. me do the original one, right? Yeah, yeah. Remember, the one with Shannon? Yeah. Little inside knowledge, Cougar was there. He was there when it happened, and he left the building with me laughing, so... Yeah, I'd be more worried about Shannon Briggs, I think, to be fair. <laughs> no, 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 Shannon's the man, man. But as a process, yeah, you must come back from that and thinking, like, yeah, you, you did your thing, it was like, it created awareness to a, to a certain degree, but, um, yeah, it was, it was just a mad thing. The whole thing, I was watching it from start, start, start to finish, it was the whole thing was mad. Yeah, no, no I, I'll, I'll still say to this moment, the whole thing was an accident. I could say, oh, my gosh, I planned it all from the beginning. Like, I knew about the town, but I didn't know that all of that stuff was going to happen. Like, I literally knocked on his door on a whim, and I was like, I'm the BBC. I wasn't expecting him to believe me. And he did, somehow, I don't know how. It's a BBC. Yeah, but I, the people know. If you know I am a BBC, you know. <laughs> That's all I try and say. Uh, but there was some good that come out of it as well, in terms of, you've got, you've got, you raised some money for your guy there as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. And he's actually, uh, today, today he's getting an operation to, um, to, to, to fix it. He's got a bad leg, bad foot specifically. So he's getting an operation. I was just speaking to him beforehand, so it's, uh, it's, it's great. Happy ending. Happy ending indeed. Uh, let's talk about this week. Let's talk about KSI first of all. Yeah. Now, I I'm sure you would have seen the stories about the original opponent yeah. uh, that was meant to be fighting KSI yeah. and there was a lot of controversy over that. Yeah. What was your thoughts on, on that? You know what, I, d I don't like to speculate too much about that type of stuff. I know there's speculations out there, but obviously he ended up pulling out. Um, there's no reason for me to think that there it's, there's anything under, under, but who knows, who knows what happened. But I don't like to speculate too much. Okay, so two opponents in one night, yeah. which is uh, a bold move from yeah. KSI. Your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, he is fighting someone extremely dangerous already uh, in swarms. So to then fight the weaker opponent second, I think that's the, the, that's the smarter move. But I'm very worried to see what swarms has in his locker. We've seen KSI in the ring, but I yeah. suppose from swarms' point of view, a little in the boxing world, a little bit of an unknown quantity. So... Yeah, they, would it be considered a shock in that respect? Swarms is actually a, a relative, I don't know if you knew, but he's a relative of Mike Tyson. Um, and people are already comparing his form to Mike Tyson and everything like that. So I'm worried for knowledge in that fight against Swarms. I think the pro, he's got him under, under, under control. But as long as he can handle Swarms, which is a very difficult achievement, uh, then I think he'll be all right. Is this a case of, at the moment, with KSI again, all roads lead possibly next summer to the fight. Come on, whether you're a boxing fan or not, we all want to see this fight with yeah. him and, and Jake Paul at some Jake point. Paul. Yeah, 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 no, that fight needs to happen. Knowledge v Jake Paul will be the fight of the century. Uh, I think that would be incredible. But first, he has to get past Swarms, first. Any of the other fights, obviously, take your, your fancy to watch, interested in? I love the whole card, like, obviously, my brother, Kenny, he's fighting. Um, he's fighting against Sensei, which will be a, a, a very interesting fight as well. Kenny should have that one in the bag. Uh, then we've got Deji, Deji Fusi. That's another very interesting fight. Fusi looks sick. Deji should have that one in the bag. And then I think, um, uh, and then Tempest fighting Slim. Slim came on late notice. I think if that was built up more, that would have been more of like a even fight. But I feel like Tempest should have that one in the bag. 
because he's, he's had more, more time on him. More time on it. But again, like, I think Slim, what he brings to the boxing game as well, he's a massive personality and he's willing to play up to that villain role, which I don't think we've got on our fault. So I'm, I'm very excited to see that fight. I'm very excited to see that press conference as well today because I think it's going to go off. All right, let's see what happens. It's going to start shortly. Final one. When are we going to see Nico in the ring? What'd you say? I'll see you in the ring, bro. In the ring? Bro, I've retired, man. I've retired from that game. There's money out there. Come on. No, Reefside's re gone. The people know, man. There's no chance. It can't happen. No, no it can't happen. Never say never. Ringside, come on. Ringside or not, come on. No, in this situation, you can say never. It will never happen. But, yeah. <laughs> Nico, top man. Thank you very much for your time. We look forward to it. It's uh, press conference day today and then, yeah, Wayne tomorrow and then Saturday night should be explosive at the O2. Can't wait, man. Can't wait. My guy, big up IFL TV. Top man, Nico. Thank you very much, brother. All right. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, brother. All right. Top man. Industry against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.